Halloween is just around the corner and although we don't celebrate it as much here in Australia, it is certainly some of my American friends' favorite holiday. And now a pumpkin pie doesn't specifically say Halloween, but it does scream fall or autumn as it's called here in Australia and the UK. And this video was requested by some of my American subscribers, so shout out to them. Today we're going to be making a realistic fake pumpkin pie in just four easy steps and we're starting right now. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl and I am all about helping non-professional theatre makers, props designers, hobby crafters and decorators create unique props and decor. And as I said today we're going to be creating a fake pumpkin pie which will look amazing. You could use this as a display piece in your home or a shop window or if you're doing a production of Waitress these will certainly come in handy. Leave a comment down below if you are like me and love that musical. And so if you are keen to see that then stick around. I've actually made one of these before for a showcase piece that was for a drama showcase where they did a musical number from Waitress and I did that a couple of years ago and since then I've actually changed the method that I'm going to be using to make this and I wanted to show you guys how I do that. Today I'll be making this one out of air drying clay, acrylic paint, wall filler and of course a pie dish and so if you are keen to see that then stick around. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoy this video because it lets me know that you want to continue seeing content just like this one as well as hit the subscribe button and bell so that you can stay updated with all of my uploads and with all of that said and done let's jump straight into this video. If you've watched my video on how I made my fake cherry pie then you will be familiar with the method I use to make my air drying clay bases for my pies. We're going to be doing the same thing today but on a slightly larger scale. So step number one we're going to get our air drying clay and roll it out and then we're going to fill the pie dish or the pie base or whatever you're using to make a thin layer which is going to be our replica crust. And as I always say you don't need to knead air drying clay but I like to just before I start to just work the clay a little bit before I start rolling it out. Set that aside to dry and as I always say, depending on where you are in the world and the temperature and the weather where you're at will depend on how long it takes to dry. Unless you're wanting to make an extremely thick crust, this probably won't take that long to dry. The Crayola brand that I like to use doesn't take very long, which is fantastic. So just read on the back of your air drying clay how long it takes to dry before you start and you should be fine. Now the clay will separate from the base when it is dry. So if you want it to stay in the tin or whatever base you're making it in, then you will need to probably glue it down. Now before we start making the filling I want to just put in a little disclaimer here that this is a extra step depending on the color of your clay when it's dry will depend on whether or not you want to paint it to be a different color as the crust or you want to leave it as is as my crust won't be as visible when my finished product is done I'm not going to paint it today because my air drying clay is the right sort of color but if you would like to paint it there are two options that I like to do so if you watched my video on how I made my fake pizza I used watercolor paint Paints, and I know it sounds strange but I actually did this I used watercolor paints to paint the crust on that which gave it a really light coverage which was really nice so if you're wanting a dusty sort of color just to go over the top to give it a very light baked look I recommend this method but alternatively you can also use acrylic paints as well if you want it to have a heavier color and if you watch my video on how I made my fake cinnamon scrolls then you would see me using this method and also using a sponge to do some coloration there and so if you watch either of those videos once you're done with this one you'll get a general idea of how to do a crust. Step number two is making the filling. Now, depending on how deep your pie dish is will depend on how much wall filler you need to use. If your pie dish is particularly deep, I recommend filling the bottom up with styrofoam first, just to be a layer of filler there so that you don't use so much wall filler. One, it'll make it lighter, and two, it'll be cheaper because wall filler is not the cheapest product to use. Alternatively as well, you could also just 
fill the pie with styrofoam. I've done that before. I actually made a chocolate pie for the same Waitress Musical Showcase and I just did the filling with styrofoam that I painted and decorated and it looked just fine. That's not the method we're using today, but if you would like to see me make a pie like that, leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to make one of those videos for you. But as of right now, we're gonna take our wall filler and I'm gonna mix in some white acrylic paint and this is just to make it a little bit more runny and easy to work with. And then I'm gonna add in some orange acrylic paint to mix up and make our pumpkin color. And now normally I do not suggest that you make this inside the actual wall filler container. I was actually just trying to use up the last of this. So I just made it in here, but it was actually a bit difficult. So I kind of wish that I made it in a separate container. So just a little handy tip there. And once that's all mixed up, We're gonna spin it into the prepared base and set that aside to dry. The wall filler can take a couple of hours as well. Like a lot of things with props making, you can't make this in one sitting. You're gonna to have to go away and come back. But I promise the end result is gonna look amazing. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button as well as leave me a comment down below with any suggestions of fake foods or videos you'd like to see me make and consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell next to subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my uploads and let's continue on with this video. This step is incredibly easy because you just need the white wall filler and mix in that white acrylic paint again and you can either put this in a piping bag or you can actually just use some paddle pop sticks or popsicle sticks as they're called in America to just move around the cream and shape it how you like. It really doesn't make that much difference which method you use. It'll end up looking fantastic anyway. And if you're wanting it to have that sort of home baked look, maybe you do just want to spoon the cream on there. Now you can see here that a little bit of the crust has actually broken on the edges there. Now that is because I rolled my clay way too thin. So just keep that in mind and learn from my mistake. You can glue them back on. However, I would just roll a slightly thicker crust. Yes, it will take longer to dry, but it is less likely to crack. And there we go, a fine replica, which is easy to make and it will last a really long time. Providing no actors or kids drop it because let's face it, nothing is actor or childproof. If you would like to see me make a pie with a slice removed or as I said, a pie with a styrofoam base, leave me a comment down below as I'd be happy to make either of those videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to smash the like button if you did because it lets me know that you wanna see more videos like this. Leave me a comment with your thoughts and consider hitting the subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.